Welcome to the Family History Guide Researching Irish Records. The availability of Irish records or the lack of availability is directly related to Ireland's long history of internal conflicts, famines, and plagues. To understand Irish research, you need to know a measure of Irish history. The plagues include bubonic plague, typhus, cholera, dysentery, and smallpox. The warfare was almost constant from the early 1600s almost to the present. The famines caused both huge loss of life and massive immigration. The results of all these disastrous events is that Irish records are sometimes fragmented or missing. To find the existing Irish records about a particular individual or family, you need to know the exact location of an event in an ancestor's life. Many of the place names in Ireland are in both English and Irish, although some of the places have only Irish names. The Irish Names website, longame.ie, is a valuable resource for discovering the location and names in both languages. As you begin your Irish research, make sure that you identify the places in both English and Irish. This will help you find the correct records, but will also help you interpret the records you do find. The FamilySearch.org Research Wiki has many helpful articles about Irish research. For example, here is a FamilySearch Research Wiki article about finding the Ireland place of origin. Some of the major online genealogical websites have useful collections of searchable Irish records. It is important to use all the resources available and not ignore any of the online collections. FamilySearch.org, Ancestry.com, and FindMyPast.com all have many collections of valuable Irish genealogical records. Genealogical records in Ireland are mainly divided into those before and after 1864, the beginning date of civil registration in Ireland. Before 1864, the primary sources for vital records are church records. Other available sources include census fragments where they exist, civil registration for Protestant marriages from 1845 to 1863, the Griffiths registration carried out between 1848 and 1864 to determine tax liability and has detailed information about where the Irish people lived in the mid-19th century, tithe records of what was paid to support the Church of Ireland. In addition, there are other land and tax registers and cemetery records. After 1864, the most used records include civil registration records, census records, wills and probate records, newspapers, and cemetery records. The National Archives of Ireland has free access to the 1901 and 1911 censuses for the whole of Ireland. The tithe allotment books from 1820s and 1830s for the Republic of Ireland and will calendar summaries for the years 1858 to 1920 and 1922 to 1982, although will summaries are available only from 1918 for the Republic of Ireland. Roots Ireland IE contains a unique database of more than 22 million Irish records it contains data from 34 county genealogy centers on the island of Ireland. The irishgenealogy.ie website has both church records and civil registration records. The National Library of Ireland has a large collection of Catholic parish registers and also contains an interactive map of the parishes of Ireland. The Public Record Office of Northern Ireland, or PRONI, has the following record collections. Census records, census substitutes, church records, 
civil registration, emigration records, genealogies, military records, newspapers, wills, and probate records. Additional records from Northern Ireland can be found in the Ulster Historical Foundation website, AncestryIreland.com. There are many other useful websites and other resources for Irish genealogy. Take time to learn more about the history and records available in Ireland. The links in the Family History Guide will provide you with valuable information about how to find your ancestors in Ireland. Study the choices in this goal to develop your research skills.